Hey guys, AC Conditioner, and welcome back for more Genshin Impact 3.3 event story. Last time we started the 3.3 event story, and oh, I, I want I want to apologize again. I'm probably gonna say so. I'm probably gonna also say that on, when that video comes out as well, right from the get go. Um, I forgot to check the game audio, and turns out my my audio is fine, but there's no game audio, so I'm just gonna overlay with music for that video only. I'm sorry that has to be that way, but it is, this is literally me trying to test the new mic, so that is why. Now, if this video comes up before the into the chapter, I don't want to like like mingle the two like I don't want to mingle the two context. But if this does ends up going before that one, I'm gonna say right now this is I record the into the chapter first and then this one, but this could come out first and then the into the chapter, only because the fact that this is a limited event. But I want to say right now, I got my new mic after recording my into the chapter, so that's why my other my my voice qualities could be different compared to those two. Despite this coming out first, this was this was recorded way later on. So <sighs> just want to get that out the way. Hey, you guys finally made it. I was searching for hours, still didn't see any sign of those three, so uh, I decided to come back. How about you? Find anything? Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. We never managed to find the through by those three either. Hmm, I see. So you came up empty-handed too. Well, it doesn't matter. I already came up with a new plan. Uh-huh. And it's gonna go great, what? right? What plan? Shinobu told me a saying after she got back from studying in Liyue. It went something like, uh, the something by day becomes uh something by night now i never actually heard of this quote before maybe this uh, again like maybe it's some sort of ominous foreshadowing but i never heard this quote before in the way actually the hunter by day becomes hunted by night yeah that's what i said come on keep up oh, anyway i was cool. so focused on scaring people i never heard of that quote before maybe that's what Shinobu heard completely off guard but not this time oh no it's an actual saying actually and waiting for those three to emerge first and then i'll nail him with a surprise attack you two just gotta keep playing it natural and join the contest. Got it? Okay, see you later. How much of it is gonna backfire? Wait, Ito! Uh, he ran off again. Well, his plan does make some sense, at least. <sighs> Let's go talk to the Shrine Maiden so we can join the second round. So am I gonna keep the same partner from the first round, or is my partner gonna change between the rounds? I can remember what's that. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Congratulations so, on hi, Sayu. What are you doing there? The test of courage. Now you're one step closer to the dark, messy truth. But is that really a good thing? Ooh. Hey, cut the nonsense! What we just saw was super terrible. You could tell the voice actor actress was oh, having really? fun. Good to hear. Hearing the word super terrifying is exactly what all us event organizers would like to hear. I think... Uh, no, that's not what Paimon means! Yeah. Something mysterious is also happening here, not just the event! Cause I'm not... cause I feel so like they what? are. So what? You've heard the stories about the test of courage, haven't you? Everyone who participates in the event faces a variety of emotions. People are afraid of seeing their innermost fears appear before them. And yet they still seek the thrill of experiencing those fears. Are you calling out the Honkai so, players? Isn't it natural for us to have Because I feel like just calling out the Honkai players. Deathly silent forest to help fulfill that experience? Just like the grinning monster standing behind you right now, waiting for you to turn around. My mom is so scared. There's nothing behind us. <laughs> I knew a little trick oh, hi, that wouldn't be enough to scare you off. So, congrats on passing this test. The second round of the test of courage will begin shortly. Have you found your partner yet? Huh? But don't we already have a partner from the last round? I'm assuming it changed us. Yes, your team's outstanding efforts certainly won you the last round. So it's understandable that you'd want to pair up with your previous partner. But unfortunately... Damn it, I want to hear Ayaka's voice again. Partner for each round of the Wait, event. what? 
If you don't have a partner by the time the next round begins, then... Yeah, yeah, Paimon already knows. If we don't have a partner in time, then we'll be disqualified. <sighs> Let's ask around and see so if you, anyone Toma, looking for a partner. And you and Mia, okay. Okay, well, I know... Well, okay, well, I already know who some people would pick. All of you, you and Mia Sims? Um, so Sayu, Toma, and Yomiya. So, let's so start off with Sayu here. Sayu in the and at least in advance, we last saw her in 2.6 Iridoi Festival as she was in one of the Australia quests of the Iridoi Festival. Not one of the main ones, just one of the little side quests. Where she was standing in line for a figurine. I know, I, I know exactly what you guys are gonna say in the comments. I dare you. And by the main story? Super one in his finale, so I that has not made an appearance since. Tomo also was in the same situation where he only made an appearance in the Eridori Festival event, but in terms of main story, also 2.1, because I don't think he made the appearance in Cosmo's character store quest either. At least I don't think he did. <laughs> Yomiya! She's in a really odd situation here. So. Yes, her last appearance was technically in 2.6, the Adori Fest 4 events, and of course, main story, the Indusimo finale. But for some reason, because of the fact that, I guess, her attack there got a Wii run for some reason, in one of the, one of the previous updates, like 3 point something, I don't remember. If you come to Shinju Forest, you can actually see Yomiya talk with her attack, Leo. Not in like a legit cussing format, but even, even, like, they're fully voiced, but not in a leg legitimate dialogue format. It's just overworld style, and I'm like, and it's really weird. I don't know if we should take that for canon or not. It's real. It's really, it's it's really on. Like, it's really on in the air right now if the, if that meaning is canon or not. But it's kind of funny at the same time. Uh, I I don't think I have footage for you guys. For you guys, I'm sorry. Okay, so who I'm gonna pick? I'll I'll pick Yumiya. You 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 Mia fans won this one today. Hey, a traveler, Paimon. I had a feeling you two would be here. One day we have a major uh, instant story yeah, quest where I could finally say they they can make an appearance. Uh -huh. I was also here for the first round, but I arrived a little early, so maybe that's why I didn't see you. By the way, I heard you were the winners. Impressive. I eventually found the hidden dongle milk too. But it was already too late. <laughs> Actually, Paimon still doesn't know how we managed to find it. It's called yeah, plot was just armor. Behind him the whole time, and somehow we won. Traveler, you never told me you were so good at this sort of event. You were keeping it a secret, were no, you? No, I just never need to say anyway, that because that's just like never a thing. Me? We'd be an amazing team. With us working together, the second round will be a piece of cake. Sure. <laughs> Where you'll see that being on my team is a blast. Now let's get out there and win this thing. We'll move faster than a firework shooting straight into the sky. It'll be like whoosh, and the round will be ours. What I do like is the fact that they they're always bringing back the characters in these in these events. What even though they're kind of like oxidized and they're not in the main story in the in like the main main story, they like they're. All from the possibilities where, like, I could have picked Thelma. At least they, at least they made an appearance, right? You appear to have found a partner. At least. Let's see if you can repeat your luck from the first round. Auxiliary no, or not? Whether winning should be considered good luck or not is debatable. <laughs> good point. Anyway, I will now reveal the item you'll be searching for in the second round of the test of courage. It's a fan. A fan. You mean like the thing we use to keep cool when it's hot out? And the and the thing Correct. that Ayaka uses to blast people with us. The was personally selected by the Yashiro Commissioner himself, and has been placed oh. somewhere in the Chinju Forest. There will be signs to guide. Ayaka, you, you didn't take Ayaka's there. fan, did you? The darkness that's that kind of mean. in the forest is drawing nearer. <laughs> Remember, if you can't go on any further, you can always give up and live to see another day. We'll never give up. Let's go! We've been through worse.
And now you have your Mia with us this time. I mean, like, and the reason why I pick your Mia here is because, like, out, out of the three characters... <laughs> And pretty strong ones from the looks of it. I'll hold on to them. <laughs> They'll come in real handy for the next Onikabuto tournament. You do build fighting your Mia, really? Okay. Now the reason why I picked your Mia here instead of the other two, I mean like Toma and Sayu is cool. But your Mia's personality really shines like shines out for me. I really I'm I'm kinda sad that she had to get much chance hey, to the spotlight. Did you guys hear that? It sounded like it came from inside the shrine. I've heard people say that some evil spirits are sealed in shrines, and at night, they make bang sounds from inside. Whenever someone approaches, a spirit will POW! Leap out and pull that <laughs> unfortunate person inside the shrine, using the victim to replace themselves as the prisoner. Ah, stay away from oh yeah, Yumi also tells really funny um, ghost what? stories. It's a kitty. Not gonna lie, that's kind of disappointing. I was hoping to see a real evil spirit. <gasps> Thank goodness. My God, Paimon, really? But yeah, you, yeah, but I forgot you. Huh. I forgot. This doesn't seem to be the right way. Let's try another path. Yumi actually um tells ghost stories or something like that to kids because Yumi is still a bit of a kid herself. I mean, that's actually how you start her because the story was all the way back at 2.0. Man, that's a long time ago, actually. A whole, that's, that's over a year ago. How did Paimon transform into a lavender melon? Hey, Paimon's over here! <laughs> that's, <laughs> like Paimon. that's funny. Hmm? So, what in the world is this? Hey, it's flying away! Don't go! Let me have a look at ya! That's funny. Nice, that, nice callback to what's my call it? Two point seven. Should be far enough. Are you tired, Paimon? Do you want to take a break? Yes, please. Oh, let's rest here. Uh, huh? Oh, I just saw him move. Wait a minute. Was that statue always facing this way? Nope. wasn't kidding. The statue really did move. Wonder how that works. Mechanism? I don't know. I, it's funny to see how like Paimon like gets spooked, and then and Yumi is just fascinated by mm. by this, what is this mechanism. Doing here? Maybe it's for participants who need a break. Oh look, at Paimon's everywhere. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Three glasses of juice, please. <laughs> don't worry. This time it's on me. You mean it's brave. Thanks, Yoi Mia. Um, excuse me. Jump scare Paimon now. I'm kidding. Strange. Seems like no one's around. Guess we'll just have to keep going. It's a dead end! Ugh. Where did they hide that van? Probably at the other path, yeah. Uh, another stall? It sure looks familiar. Wait, isn't this the same stall we saw earlier? Yeah. Ah, it's back again. Maybe it's following us. Ah, help! But this is it. Is it really to stall? I guess. I, I guess not. Well. But yeah, I can see why a lot of people actually do like Yumiya. Like Yumiya's personality is actually really cool. Wow! Look at all the lanterns here. It's so beautiful. Uh, but. Now that I look closer, it seems like the lanterns are floating in mid-air. How is that possible? Uh, that's definitely not normal. Hey, can I borrow your shoulders for a second? You can give me a boost, and I'll pull one of them down. No, now's not the time! I, I love how Yumi is just fascinating while Paimon's just horrified. That's just funny. Hey, hey look what we have here. Isn't this the fan we're looking for? Wow, it has such a beautiful design on it! Are those fireworks? It seems to be for some sort of festival. So, now that we've found this fan, does that mean we've won the second round of the Test of Courage? Let's bring it back! <sighs> Thank goodness it's over. You are a scaredy cat, Paimon. Wonder if Ito's still 
still out trying to capture those three from earlier. Paimon's a little worried about him. Uh... Why don't we have a look around? Hmm? Is there something else you need to take care of? How about I take the fan back then? Yeah. Thank you. That would help. No need to thank me. It's been a blast doing the test of courage with you guys. I'd love to do it again. Cool. <laughs> I've got you now. Uh, just run! Don't worry about me! Mm. Ha! Don't underestimate this, Oni. None of you are getting away today. Hey! It's Ito! It looks like he captured those three we were looking for. Are you sure it's Ito? Because I only hear Ryuji. The only character voice I'm hearing is Ryuji Sakamoto for Persona 5. I can't care. <laughs> Seriously, why didn't you run when I told you? Is that a kappa? What are you saying? We couldn't abandon you? Yeah, that's right. So just get on with it. And if you're gonna eat us, then you'll have to deal with I all hate the fact that us. I recognize at least we two of them. Down, even if uh even if we're already in your stomach. I hate the fact that I at least recognize two of them all three of them because I play a specific game and I'm not happy about. I'm kidding. Are you the ghost of something tasty? No. And Ito, why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Hmm. I have a weird feeling that I've seen these three somewhere before. Ah, oh, I know. These are all creatures from the ultimate yokai field guide that Granny used to show me. There's Yoko, Kappa, Kappa. and Hitotsume Kozo. They're all yokai. That's what's called. It sure took you long enough to notice. Well, we recognized you right away. At least you, Capo. Aren't you? According to legends, Oni are grouchy, extremely strong, and crush other yokai into balls to eat them up. Oh, pff, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Who came up with that? Besides, you're the ones people, people. are scared of, hiding behind bushes and scaring people off the road. What are you trying to do here? Don't think I didn't see you. Following him around and conjuring up all sorts of weird, scary stuff. When that was them? So it was you three. No, we weren't trying to scare anyone. We were just trying to. Uh, um. Uh. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can tell us. Really? You're not mad? No, not really. Oh, you scared the daylights out of Paimon a few times. It doesn't seem like you were doing it on purpose. How do you guys scare them? Let's hear your side of the story, and Paimon will decide whether or not to forgive you. Um, well, the truth is, we were planning a festival. One hosted by the yokai. But humans are also welcome to attend. You mean the Mikawa Flower Festival? Ah, the festival that A mentioned! Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh, that does ring a bell. Oh, right, it used to be hosted by the top yokai. I heard it was supposed to be a lot of fun. I mean, not as fun as my almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drum Along Festival, but... That is... no. Yes, the Mikawa Flower Festival is our aspiration. But we know that our festival doesn't deserve that name. The times of Yakiyako are long gone. We're just a bunch of little yokai living in the wilderness. As you can see, we lack the necessary yokai powers to put Wait, on. Wait, actually, they're not festival. they're not just kids wearing but yokai masks. We're determined to still reach out to humans and express our gratitude. Huh? Gratitude? What do you mean? Mm-hmm. You see, we live in the wilderness and are frequently attacked by monsters. They would come and stir up trouble on our land. Forcing us to hand over our food. Sometimes they would even get rough and leave us injured. But later, many human adventurers came into the wilderness and drove off the monsters, allowing us to live in peace. Ah, oh, I get it now. You want to repay the favor, but uh, your powers are too puny. Hey, don't let it get to you. You might be a bunch of pipsqueaks, but you're all solid yokai in my book. So. Are you the ones who set up the Akitsu Yugen game on the beach? Yep, that was us. Have you tried oh, it? Okay. Isn't it fun? We drew in the Wait, they're actually the yokai. They're not just. 
It took a lot of yokai power to set it up. So they're not just actually kids wearing a yokai mask, but they're actual yokai, actually. Right? We set up some stalls in the forest. Or are they acting like yokai? Atmosphere. We were just following you to see your reactions. Is the Akitsuna Yugen really that important? Why did you spend all of your yokai power to build it? Paimon would have taken the traveler for a big meal if you had set up more food stalls. Really? To be honest, we've never met a human before, so we had no idea what you would like. We focused on building the Akitsu Yugen because of a legend we heard. Ah, I know the one. It's the story of yokai meeting a human during a festival hundreds of years ago. Hello? It's said that long ago, a human samurai once stumbled across the Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh? What's a human doing here? We erected the barrier, didn't we? Uh, what a pain. Oh, it's like it's like in the back. The yokai right there. At the festival began discussing how to drive away the human. Huh? When suddenly, they heard a voice. Oh. Oh. <sighs> this is our festival, and the point is to have fun. What difference does it make if a human joins us yokai? <laughs> the speaker appeared to be a prominent figure among the yokai, and when he spoke, the other yokai fell silent. You there, young man, do you drink sake? Uh, yes, I do. Ah, then join us. We can enjoy tonight's festivities together. Huh. <laughs> and so, the yokai and samurai celebrated together. The two competed in the highlight of the festival, the Akitsu Hazara. Their spectacular game ended in a draw, and a new friendship was forged. <laughs> I can't believe a human could keep up oh, with this me. Is a, I actually like this cutscene. The dynamic powers of the yokai will certainly help hone my swordsmanship. You're a swordsman? Oh, yes. I'm currently traveling the world in search of formidable opponents. Then let's make a deal. We meet for a duel every ten years. What do you say? Hmm. I look forward to it. Oh, I like that cutscene. That was cool. Meant to bring happiness to all who attend. And Akitsu Hazara is a symbol of... Hane Yasobi. I, I keep saying that. When we decided to hold the festival here, setting up Akitsu Hazara was our first priority. Unfortunately, the real Akitsu Hazara has been lost to time. What we created is a version of the game we heard about from a wandering merchant, so we changed the name to Akitsu Yugen. We heard that someone had been trapped in the Akitsu Yugen. Yeah, but that wasn't us. We have no idea what could have gone wrong. Then had to relate to this the Yugen a while ago. The, the other girl that we met, right? For any issues. But we didn't find anything wrong with it. Maybe it was just some strange mishap caused by our unstable yokai power at the time. Hmm. They don't look like they're lying. And believe me, I know a liar when I see one. Maybe it really was just an accident. After that incident, people stopped coming to the attraction. Later, a human man with blue hair appeared and walked around the area. Oh, Yato. He had a piercing gaze. I almost felt like he could see us. But then he turned and quickly left without saying anything. That sounds like Ayato. It wasn't long before but... large numbers of people began coming to the Chinju forest. And visitors were playing Akitsu Yugen again. So he advertised it. A human man with blue hair? It must have been Ayato. Now that you mention it, the fan that Ayato chose is the same kind that's used at a festival. Do you think that he knew about the yokai when he decided to hold the test of courage here? Oh, so my bro Ayato is here for the test of courage too? My bro Ayato, Maybe that's funny. He's here to catch Oni Kabuto. <laughs> Had I known that, I would have brought the one I caught a few days ago to battle him. You caught another oh, one? Ito's still clueless about who Ayato really is. It's alright, no need to tell him for now. Well anyway, seems like all the strange things we saw earlier were caused by these little yokai, not ghosts. <sighs> what a relief. And now that we know what's happening, the test of courage doesn't seem that scary after all. But the still hey, you want to hang out with humans. Situation right? with the I totally get that. mysterious girl. After all, we yokai are becoming a rare breed these days. If all we do is isolate, we'll only feel more lonely. 
So why don't you let this Oni do you? I wonder if he was aware of them, See, Chio, Kaiju, honestly. Right? And I'm already a natural in human society. I bet there's not a single person in Inazuma who hasn't heard of Arataki, the one and only Ito. But you cause <laughs> so much trouble, on, Ito. Let's go. To get that around. fame. Now that Paimon doesn't feel so scared anymore, maybe we can walk around the area. The yokai said they wanted to host a festival, but... Would that make Sada a yokai as well, actually? Because she is a Tengu warrior, technically. Now. Come to think of it, Paimon remembers seeing some festival-related items on the beach. Let's head over there and take a look. And Sada Maybe is a close around. character to a Tengu we have so far that's playable. So, the, would that make Sada a yokai, though? Because she's a Tengu warrior, but that, but then again, I feel like she isn't. I don't know. Like it, I feel like Sada's in a weird situation, and things are floating around everywhere. And that definitely. Oh hi. So I I bet something is set up by her. I'm assuming. The problems here. Wait, you're the strange lady we met before. Oh, it's you two again. I have to say, I'm impressed by your willingness to approach me after last time. You're oh, look, oh, oh, like that. Okay, right there. That's but cool. I'm not going to let you off the hook so easily this time. If you don't leave, I'll... Hmm. Nice try, but you don't scare us anymore. Now let's tell us who you are. fellow yokai, and they told us everything. Huh? Fellow yokai? That's right. You're another little yokai who lives in the wilderness, aren't you? We just met Yoko, Kappa, and Hitotsume Kozo. So which type of yokai are you, hmm? Oh, let Paimon How would you be able to guess, Paimon? There's a, there are hundreds of them. Hmm. Actually, there are hundreds of different ones, man, yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're on our way to play Akitsu Yugen. Care to join us? That crap is vibing. Akitsu Yugen. Again, that game. How could this be happening now? All I needed was a little more time. And I could... Huh? What's the matter? Are you not feeling well? Oh, maybe you're hungry. Or maybe you didn't sleep well. You look pretty exhausted. Don't worry, Ito has already taken your fellow yokai to meet some new friends. Everyone will get along just fine. We are your friends too. Yeah, so there's no need to worry. Come on, let's go play a Kitsu Yugen. We'll see who can finish the game the quickest. The loser will have to grant the winner a wish. Oh, it's starting! Get ready. Oh, we're actually playing a match. We're actually playing around them. Okay, so you can. Now, just because I played this, doesn't mean I'm good because I have no idea what I'm doing. All I know that is like Pong, and I really wish I, had, I really wish I had a cryo. And I suck. Hey, and never mind. Can you feel this? I wonder if you can. Amazing! You cleared all the elemental cubes so quickly. <laughs> Paimon thinks we got this in the bag. All right, it's your turn. Okay, watch and learn. In record speed, she's speed running. No way! She hit every cube in one shot and finished even faster than you, Traveler. Damn. Oh, Paimon's head is spinning after watching that. Did you see how she did it? You won. 
Even if the rules have changed a little, I would never lose to amateurs like you. Oh, right. You're a yokai. You're the one who created a Kitsuyugen. No wonder you're so good. Anyway, we'll keep our word. You can make a wish now. But before you say anything, we won't do anything that's clearly impossible or harmful to others. <laughs> A wish, huh? Then I wish that we never cross paths again. Oh, of course. Wait, what? But didn't we just have a great time together? That's precisely why. Don't ever come near me or speak to me again. Surely that's a wish you can fulfill, right? She doesn't this want to interact with humans at all. This is my final word of warning. If I ever see your faces again, I will... I'll steal your souls! Well, what's up with the dark aura? Now? Good! Then don't come here again! Uh... Paimon doesn't get it. Did we do something wrong? Everyone has their reasons. Oh, fair enough. But... Paimon had a lot of fun playing a Kitsuyugen with her. It would be great if we could see her again. Anyway, let's go see how Ito's doing. Watch it in here. I'm calling it. Never mind. So, clearly she's been scarred by something in the past related to humans, I guess. And that's why she doesn't want to even interact or even get close to people. Oh, hey, you're Mia and Kasuo. Yeah. <laughs> no need to be nervous. I'm Yui Mia, and I run Naganohara Fireworks. Oh, I once saw some Naganohara Fireworks. Even though I was watching from a distance, they were still so beautiful, bursting across the sky. Really? Then the next time we meet, I'll bring some fireworks for us to launch together. It'll be fun. Whoa, really? Thank you very much. And if I may ask, are you Lord Kaedahara Kazuha? Didn't you say that you could be yes, out traveling, Kazuha? Me. But I'm afraid that I'm no lord, just a wandering samurai. Wait, you I've just came to visit. Your sword in the wilderness. You made quick work of many opponents with your amazing swordsmanship. Ah. Uh, oh, I, when did when did you get here, Ayaka? Trying to escape Inazuma. It wasn't as impressive as you make it seem. I had to face many trying situations before I was able to leave the islands. The head of the, the first three Inazuma characters also lent me his assistance at the time. By the way, this is his sister. Gorus the Taco oh, Kappa. So you must be the one and only Shirasagi Himegimi. What an honor. There's no need to be so formal. I never imagined I'd ever meet someone as distinguished as you. I must be dreaming. Do you think Koko meets her as well, hey, or is she too busy? Don't you want to go talk to them too? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rather shy. Really? Well, that's strange. You seemed completely fine when we were chatting. I'm not sure why, but I feel so relaxed oh, when talking just there. to you, General okay. Goro. <laughs> Actually, well, I'm Goro the most timid of the three of us. I hid for days the last time someone tossed a stone into the river. <laughs> ah, sorry for rambling on. It's odd. I'm not normally like this. I don't. I don't know what's up with the random pausing. I hope this is not. Uh, it's okay. You mean can't issue. excel at everything. The important thing is to have the courage to change. Hey there, <laughs> chatting away. Oh, someone saw you. Mind if I join you? I've never seen a kappa before. H hello there. Thank you for bringing Question, wait. so many Sayu is a Magina, so is Sayu technically a yokai or not? Because she is <laughs> a Magina nothing. ninja. Being the one and only means being the best, you know? 
I'm going out this. It's gonna be also the technicalities oh, I here. That, uh, I even have my own gang, and every member has a special title. Classic Ito. There you go, bragging about yourself again. Don't confuse them. Everyone's here for the test of courage, not because you brought them here. Half the people here don't even know who you are. Hey, this is my Yikes. moment, Paimon. Don't ruin it for me. <laughs> Ito really isn't as cool as he claims to be. When it comes to having connections in Inazuma, nobody can beat Paimon and the Traveler. Despite being just travelers. Oh, yeah? All right. Well, then let's have a little contest and see who knows the most people. Sure, bring it on, bull checker beetle boy. That was the only thing that we gave him last time. Please don't okay. fight. Actually, I think you're both really amazing. And you also have a great friendship, just like Lord Kamai and the Samurai. Oh, is that the... Yo is that the Yoka that was talking with <laughs> well, the Samurai? Boss. boss! Oh my god. Oh, it's the boys! Ah, darn it. I was so caught up with the yokai that I forgot I was supposed to scare the daylights out of the Don't game. see that in front of them. Boss! <clears throat> uh, hey, fellas. Look, I can explain. I... Boss! Boss we're, we're sorry! Wait, what now? Sorry about what, exactly? We shouldn't have ever doubted you, boss. You were right. Yeah, the test of courage is terrifying. There are definitely ghosts here. What did you guys see exactly? I still get shivers just thinking about it. But the thrill was kind of fun. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, I told you it would be an exhilarating experience, but no, none of you believed me. Wait, what did they see? Anyway, no need to be too scared now. Let me tell you what's happening here. It turns out there aren't any ghosts here. All the scary stuff you saw was just a little misunderstanding we had with the yokai. Right? Ah, uh, sorry, but I've never seen these three before. Uh-oh. I'm not sure where you've been or what you've seen, but I don't think it had anything to do with us. Then it has to be with the, um, huh? spectral lady that we saw. I'm just gonna call huh? her that because we don't know her name. Huh? Hold on, little Yoko. You're kidding, right? <laughs> you know, now's not really the time for that. No, I'm serious. I really don't know what's going on. But if it wasn't you guys, does that mean there are real ghosts out here? Wait a minute. We did see some lady who was all dressed up. Oh, that's right. Paimon assumed she was a yokai too. She but is a yokai. She confirmed it. Uh... Is she not? I, I'm not sure who it was you Oh, met, shoot. But we're the only three yokai who wanted to hold a festival here. Wanted to hold a festival here? Ah, so she was a ghost? <gasps> Boss, save us! Calm down. Everyone just, just calm down now. What's all the noise about? Hey, so? Oh, you're the Tenryo Commission's impeccable timing as always. There's nothing to fear. Even if there really is a ghost, all your noise would drive it away. Ouch, sick burn. Ito, you and your gang should go and inform the other contestants about the situation. Traveler, Do you think you know on. what's going Please, on here, Come with me. Why well, I mean, oh, I would assume. Okay, okay which instrument character has not made an appearance yet? Feels a Aika, little better than your here. Kazuha, Aika, Yumiya, Sayo. A actually made an appearance. Miko never made an appearance. Kokomi never made an appearance. Um. So, okay, yeah. Hold on, wait, there's a release. Um. Kokomi, Sada. Deepo 3, no. Deepo 4, no. Miko. And then. And then Shinobu. Shinobu was only mentioned. So Miko, Kokomi, Shinobu, and Sala never made an appearance. Everyone else did. Everyone has Cite their own this thoughts. To yourself. Keep your mind clear and at peace. Free your thoughts from spirits and ghosts. Those were her Excellency's remarks in the directive. She once said, 
There is nothing oh, to be so afraid Kokomi is not coming? As long as your conscience is clear. Oh, if only your excellency were here. She would get to the bottom of all this in no time. That's true. Actually, actually, if Kokomi and, and Miko were here, then they figured this out really fast. I mean, Hazel could figure this out too. So, is there really a ghost around here? I'm gonna go look for it. I've never seen a ghost before. Oh, how exciting! Yumiya, you are very brave. Saw you. This is one of my usual hiding spots. It's always safe here. Let me show you a trick. So, saw you not like yokai, technically. Scary things will go away. It's, it's, I mean, I'm assuming Magina is a yokai, but I know, the, and Sai calls herself a Magina as well. Thing is, I don't know, like, in technicality, if Sai is technically a yokai or even Sara, because Sara is a Tengu warrior. Right? So, does that count as her being a yokai? Could the rumors be true then? Do strange phenomena really happen every time the test of courage is held? Please be careful. Interesting. So, so far we just met four. Oh, there's, oh, there's Toma. I was gonna say, we're missing Toma and Kasuha. I don't want to talk to all of them. I believe my lord had foreseen this situation. He has my absolute trust, but given Lady Ayaka is still here, we must get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. They must be cautious as always. Like, thing is, Toma may appear to be carefree, but... When when he is cautious and he and he knows to be careful, he knows. Don't freak out, boys. Whatever happens, I'll protect you. You're, You're the, the best, best boss. boss. Then they're making a, they're like making a big deal out of this, but watch it just be like nothing at all. Something that I have actually the plan a plan. Cause that will be kind of funny. Honestly, I really want that to be a thing because I think that'd be the funniest way. Because Ayato was also the one responsible for causing a scavenger hunt of all things in the Erdoi Festival. To outright just reveal the Kaida Hala and Kamisato's, um. Or, 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 or wait, to outright, re to outright reveal the true downfall of the Rather Gokudan. Oh, this, speaking of Kasuo. I'll also give him a Kasuo because I won't talk to her for moving before we move on. Unease pervades the air, and fear is spreading. Maybe this is the real test of courage. It's already becoming an unforgettable experience for me. The weird thing is, like, Kasuo's like, oh, I'm gonna be going out adventuring. And, the, and literally, the only time we see him not in Nidazuma is in Mondstadt. And then immediately after, we see him go come back to Nidazuma. Which is kind of funny. And in fact, if you do the um, Metula quest, it's... They say that, oh, Kasuo's actually here, so I'm like... Yeah, she's uh, going out traveling. Hello? Miss Shy Maiden? Uh... Huh. Strange. She isn't here. It's a ghost. Ah! What's this? Look, there's something written in red on the bulletin board! Round three, item, Hagoita. Hagoita. Does this mean that the item we have to find in the third round is a Hagoita? The Shrine Maiden appears to be urging us to finish the third round of the Test of Courage. You, so you think she's but, aware? Where did she go? <gasps> Has she been taken away by a ghost? Will Paima be next? <gasps> Paima will never leave your side now! Don't say that, that's foreshadowing. The words are scribbled hastily. But there's no evidence of a struggle. However, aren't there too many words written here? What do you notice, Hazo? I believe that the three or items Heizo. chosen for this three-round contest were each selected by the three organizing parties. The Dongo Milk was chosen by the merchant who funded the event, and the fan was chosen by the Yashiro Commission, which provided the staff. Right. So, does the Hagoita, which should have been chosen by the Grand yeah, Narukami Narukami Shrine, Shrine, have any unique... Well, I mean, I don't even know what a Hagoita is. Well, let's worry about that later. The bigger question is, are we really going to join the third round of... Could Miko be behind this as well? Paimon would love to win the grand prize, but our safety comes first. How about we... make a test? 
tactical retreat. I still have my commission to complete, so I'll stay. Fear arises from mystery, and it's a detective's job to unearth the truth from the mystery. I sure got it. Hazel and Scar Scarmish's voice have are very similar to me. Okay, then. Yes, Let's they still kind of are. Maybe the Shrine Maiden had something to take care of and we'll be back soon. Okay, that's part two complete. Um, not bad. Currents of life. Um, I'm gonna save that for the next time. Which is gonna be more than just one day because i'm gonna be gone after I'm, I'm gonna be gone for a few days so again like i'm gonna be really behind on uploading honestly because of the fact that i'm going on a little trip but whatever whatever so far this is interesting i, I love the character involvement in this one how like they're a lot more involved with, with the main story than, than i thought actually and they don't feel like an afterthought actually which is really really nice overall interesting event so far, and just story. I'm curious to see what's. I'm curious to see what's next. And hopefully, this video has not gone wrong. But it's showing all all your upper capture, so should be good. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys enjoyed, and if and if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and leave your own thoughts about this story so far. Unless you be in it again, because I'm I'm expecting about that point. Other than that, AC Conditioner signing out. Have a good one, guys, and stay safe.